hello everybody and welcome to Coffee Talk episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. This has been a long time coming, I've been waiting so eagerly for this to come out. Oh, I'm so happy it's finally here! And just in time because we just pl finished playing through this, the first one for the second time. And so now that that's nice and fresh in our brain and we got the secret special ending, we can move on to episode 2. Who are we gonna meet? Who are we gonna meet again? Let's find out. Let's just get started. New profile. What's your name? It's Yabby. Is Yabby correct? No. Now it is. Who's that? I'm so excited! Let's just do it! Welcome to Coffee Talk Achievement! Seattle, 2023. Ooh, present day again. A city of enduring loneliness. Oh. Oh no. A place where the dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive and not just to survive. That's good poetry. It is a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. Ooh. It is a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness, for the right to be acknowledged in a society rife with judgments. Acceptance is a battle, and identity is a luxury they just began to grasp. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing, and the world becomes fast-paced with increased connectivity. Whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement, or simply to escape, it is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. As some look for answers off the beaten path, seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights, in a night-blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they'd find a small respite through a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. Yes! New stories! We're back! <laughs> I think we're gonna still go two days at a time, if possible, but I'm go- this is completely blind. It literally just came out today, so we'll see. Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. Oh, I feel so nostalgic for a game I literally just played. Okay, N massive job loss as large companies move out of state. What's next? Seattle West Precinct Police are losing a record number of officers in January. Social experiments skirting between entertainment and menace. Definitely menace, in my opinion. Oh, look at- Oh! <laughs> uh, I guess this will go on for a while. There's new stuff! Oh, Georgie! Officer Georgie! Welcome! Evening, Yabby. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. That's scary. I'd say... the power lines? Probably. Yeah. What about them? Oh. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> That's a concern. The power's kept going on and off all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. That bad, huh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. So it's been three years since the first game. I guess our resident writer, Miss Greenhaired Fairy, isn't here tonight? You mean Freya? The one and only. Unless she's changed her hair color, then my bad. <laughs> it's still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh? Why? She's currently on a research trip for her new book. Oh, she's still writing! That's so. At least, that's what she told me. And <laughs> that's too bad. The evenings won't be the same without her. That's very true. No kidding. Also, what's going on with my phone? Oh, Tomodachi is still here. The only person we have is Georgie. Oh, and his daughters. And then we also have stories? <gasps> okay, Freya, two hour delay, not a problem. Oh, she looks so pretty. Hide! Before to get a new place to live, you just need to look to go to said place, have a look, and pay the cash. Now, all these forms you need to fill. Abysmal. <laughs> he sounds like a boomer. Good morning, let's do our best today, okay? 
Georgie, the chief said that these days youngsters read and listen to infos and advice more seriously than in this format. So here I am, kiddos. Only one like. I'll like it. <laughs> I can like things. Hang on. Like. 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 Uh, Lua. We're going to be checking on the catering service I mentioned last week tonight. So, Ice Baileys, do not be late. <laughs> and he, he liked it. So, yes, ma'am. <laughs> what to do? Um, and then Rachel, I woke up so refreshed today, I think it's going to be a good day. Oh, I hope so. Alright, and then it looks like we have stuff on the brew pad, too. Ah, cafe latte, cappuccino, dark chocolate, espresso, green tea latte, and matcha. These are all things we've had before. Alright, back to this. I admit, it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while, to have some time to herself. And some time away from this. Ah! Not looking good, huh? Yeah, but I've already notified the city lights department. They said they'd monitor the area just in case. Don't worry, Abby. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your... lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather. A lucky charm of sorts. Never failed us in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it lit up for longer than 10 seconds. Then you're on your own. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> Don't cops usually carry flashlights around anyway? Oh, we do. But where's the thrill in that? <laughs> Sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever. <gasps> oh, are the machines ready? Goodness, finally. Thanks for waiting. I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. Oh? No midnight patrol then? Just for tonight. Roger that. In that case, would you like to sample our new tea selection instead? Oh, we have tea! We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue what? Um, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. The color is really pretty. Huh. I had no idea you offered alternative stuff, Yabby. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative what? Oh. It's P, as in pea pods. Oh. And not whatever else you thought it was. Georgie! I just figured out what you were thinking. You nasty, nasty. Got it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule? Of course. No dairy for Officer Georgie. <laughs> Correct. I'm sure you have all this info written down on your phone already. I want to say yes, but... Some of my notes went missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Whoops. Better write down everything you can remember then. Speaking of remembering... Freya actually left me something for you. That's so. Alright. Then I'll have one of your new teas. I'll leave the choice up to you. Just keep it simple. She left me something? What's this? Oh! A written postcard Freya prepared for Officer Georgie. Looks like she left him a message. Oh, okay, I can pick it up. <laughs> okay, I guess I can't be in the briefing when I do it. Okay, one of your new teas, I'll leave the choice up to you. Just keep it simple. Okay, how about boop, boop, boop? Blue pea. I want to see what this looks like. Oh, <gasps> that is so pretty! Better give Freya's stuff to Officer Georgie now before I forget. Ooh, and we can give an item. There we go. Proceed. How cool! All of this already looks so cool. I'm so excited. Serve it. First brew. Oh? A postcard, eh? Is she bragging at me or something? Oh. Huh. What is it? Huh. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> it appears she left me a message. What does it say? Nothing for you to worry about. Oh, but now I'm curious, Georgie. <laughs> anyway, thanks for this. Give her my regards. You're welcome, and I will. All right, here you go. Wow. Is this stuff really safe to drink? It's fine. It's just the things that turn the turtles into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What's with the color? It's blue pee. I assure you, it is completely safe to drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing with you, Abby. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little aggressive there. Don't drink with the cigarette in your mouth! It's surprisingly mild, huh? Usually people put lemon in it. 
It changed color too. Really? Yep. Unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. <laughs> Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. It's fine. I remember my youngest showed me a video of something like that. You know, she's really into new agey health stuff. I remember she made me a drink from blue algae or something. To lower my cholesterol, she said. Problem was, it tasted like dirt. I still drink it all, though. Nice of her to think of her dad's health. Yeah, she's swell. Between you and me, though, I'll stick with coffee. But this one, I don't mind at all. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Thanks. You're very welcome. Oh, it's getting bad again. What a storm. Got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest just finished her all makeup exams. Makeup exams? Yeah. We found out that for some reason or another, she's been neglecting her studies. So let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How did it go? It was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through in the end, right? Yep. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. Sorry to hear that. Anyway, the missus planned to celebrate a little tonight. Making all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner and all that. So I'm buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies and I'm nowhere near home. <laughs> because of the storm? That and my car's busted. Oh no! <laughs> Nothing's going right for you today. All the valve cores removed and tires deflated. Oh no! What? How come? Just so happens that my car is the latest victim of a vandalism spree. That's a whole other thing going on. Rest easy though, we're on it. For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions. Holy! Who's this? You're new! By Zeus! What a disaster! Welcome! Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Pops. What's up? Thunderstorms, obviously. Touché. Gods, isn't the weather just awful? It's like someone up there doesn't care about their water bill or something. I'm glad you're open, though, else I'd be super soaked by now. Happy you made it in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? My name is Yabby. And the gentleman over here is Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? <laughs> Fine by me. Sweet. Oh, oh. Buzz, 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 buzz. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is calling. <laughs> You're in trouble. Uh, all right, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya. Well, now it's just you and me, Lucas. You're a satyr, right? So, can I get a cafe latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Yes? You know what? I'm not sure. <laughs> you tell me. You're the pro. Um... Okay, okay, hear me out. You see, I used to like coffee. Heck, I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it, you know what I mean? Right? Anyway, milk helps takes the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I still just miss just coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. What is it about coffee that you miss? The caffeine, of course. And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? <laughs> Have you ever tried matcha? Nope, but isn't that just green tea? Yes, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Then one matcha for me, please. You got it, Lucas. Oh, did we get... Oh, Lucas! Filling up your timeline 24-7. Alright, matcha, 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 matcha. I saw that in here. Ooh, butterfly pea. This strikingly blue tea is known to be a stress bu buster chock full of antioxidants. Alright, that is literally just green tea, green tea, green tea. But before we do that, I want to check out this hibiscus. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, that is so pretty. I freaking... Oh, my God! How is this game so pretty? <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Let me start over. Alright. Alright. Green tea, green tea, green tea. Perfection. Matcha. Serve it. 
A cup of premium matcha coming up. Hmm. <laughs> Man, it's super green, huh? Let's try it. Do you like it? What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. Tastes a little grassy, though. But I kind of like it. I'm glad it's to your taste. I wasn't sure if you'd enjoy it as is. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Some people find the taste a bit too intense when it's served straight like this. Well, good thing I like intense. Because it makes up for the fact I'm really not. Anyhow, looking forward to your future recommendations from now on. I'll do my best. Oh, snippity snap. So, does anyone ever come here? What do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's, like, no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Oh, maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we open quite late. That makes sense. What time do you guys close, anyway? We're open until morning. For real? <laughs> That's pretty heckin' late. Do you turn into a secret bar after, like, 2 a.m. or something? I mean, this place used to be a bar, according to Hyde. If we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. What? That's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no. A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you like. Sweet, thanks. I can give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. Ooh, he took the photo and posted it moments ago. That was fast. Oh? I was going to tag your place here. I do have an account there, but I haven't seen this feature before. Oh yeah, it's a pretty new thing on Tomodachil, huh? You can check on people's updates now. Just open the stories tab inside the app on your phone once in a while. Oh, I just did that. Let's see the new story. <laughs> Lucas, guess where I am? Hashtag chillin'. Hashtag pick of the day. You looking cute? Is that supposed to be a Gucci hoodie, but it has Greek lettering? <laughs> Better check it daily, though, because the stories only last a day. Who knows, maybe you'll find some juicy info on your customers there. Ooh, thanks for the hint. That's a bit... Hey, I'm just saying, people will post anything. That's true. Kidding. I'm usually more active on my tube channel anyway. Oh no, are you a YouTuber? But hey, since you're here, want me to tag you instead? <laughs> no thank you. But I'm curious, what do you do exactly? Your posts already seem to have a lot of reactions for a new feature. Right, I guess you can call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. I report on the hottest trends, on the hottest people, on the hottest places, and everything else in between. Wow. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? Sure. For the right price, you can. Aww. <laughs> Never mind then. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They help me he they help keep me on brand, so to speak. Since they said I can get too crazy sometimes. You know what? I believe that. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> oh lordy. <laughs> oh no. Georgie, you okay? <laughs> Welcome back, Pops. Thanks. Is everything alright? Kind of. The missus is not happy. Oh. Maybe I should try calling a cab. What do you think? I'd save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? Been calling them while I was still on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am. Dang! There were no cabs around my station either. Did you try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? The only ordering I can do is gnome noms from around the corner of my house. Touché. Well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. Don't say things like that! That's how bad things happen! No! <laughs> Whoa! I retract my statement. <laughs> for what it's worth, it held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Can you use the lighter? Use the lighter! Wanna borrow my lighter then, Yabby? A tempting offer, but no thank you. I'm going to check on something, though, so I'll be right back. Sure, good luck. Guys! Hey, you alright? Yeah, everything's peachy. I just... <laughs> I just don't like being in the dark so much. What? You're scared of the dark, kid? D duh You never know who might jump out at you. But we're in a room. Still, 
Don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. That's true. He's probably seen way worse than a power outage. If I can grab him, I can handle him. In theory. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that at all. Oh? Huh? Did you hear something? What? Who's that? I swear I heard something just now. Who are you? Oh! <laughs> Holy fuck! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Georgie's gonna pop a blood vessel! Uh, hi? Oh, who are you? Why are you holding your hands like that? I'm back! Sorry about that, everything should be good for now. Oh, great! Welcome! Can I place my order? Of course! What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have the usual fare. Coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I'd like something soothing for my throat, and for my mind. Tough day at work? Okay, uh, forget I asked. If you have no particular drink in mind, might I suggest you trying our new blue pea latte? Blue pea latte, hmm? Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best? Okay. One blue pea latte with art, please. Alright, um... I'm guessing that is blue... Mil... Uh, um, hmm... I'm gonna experiment. Let's see. I'm taking a gander. That is milk blue pea. I'm guessing that's not right. Um... How about... Okay, wait. Okay, a latte... Okay. Blue pea milk milk. You are so pretty, can I just say? Blue pea latte. Okay, there we go. And you want it to be pretty. Um, let's see. I can try... Can I, what am I doing? Oh, shit. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, God. it It's a chameleon. <laughs> See, there's like the little legs, and then there's that, that's their horn, and then a little swirly tail. Oh god, it, oh god. It's fu- Oh, you can actually see it now! That's so cool! I can see my disaster of art! It's a masterpiece achievement unlocked. Well, if that's what you want to call it, I won't complain. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. What's the matter? It's blue? Yes, but rest assured, it's all natural. I see. It's pretty. You like it? Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You are very welcome. You guys okay? Is the power okay now? Yes, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now we can just wait until the storm's over. Well, about that. The news said the storm will go on until midnight at the very least. What? Would have been nice if I had my car. <laughs> there are several road closures due to flooding also. Well darn. <laughs> so basically you're saying we're stuck. <laughs> Afraid so. At least for a little while. I'm in deep trouble. Oh, <laughs> you are. Your, your daughters are gonna kill you. If your wife doesn't kill you first. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. Freya isn't here, so I have to be the one, the, 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 the nosy one. <laughs> Just didn't want to alarm you, Yabby. His tires got flattened. For real? Yup. There's been some vandalism going around recently. Somebody keeps removing Valcors and deflating tires from parked cars around the West Precinct. Huh. Why? Maybe someone's a collector. Or got too much time on their hands. No clue yet. Anyhow, our station lot was getting repaved. So a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's cars get affected too, Pops? Nope. Just mine. Oh, what rotten luck you have today. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah? Maybe because there's no real damage done, other than wasting my time. Though my co-workers aren't so cool about it. The recent mass resignations have left us severely understaffed. 
Additionally, companies are moving away due to the tax hike, so the pro the, so there are protests happening, which means tensions are high all around. That doesn't sound good. Don't I know it? Anyway, we caught the culprit on the CCTV, so I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Don't say stuff like that. Did you not remember what just happened with the power? Could be just a prank, pops. You think so? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion could land elsewhere, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? If I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. <laughs> Harsh. But I'm serious. Prank videos are like their own genre online, you know? People watch that kind of stuff. Um, um, I mean, yeah, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. It's all about the cheap thrills, Pops. And a good way to make money, too, if you play your cards right. You mean faking them. Oh? The crazier sh your shtick is, the more views you get. Which means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat until you just push them just a bit too far. Then you get the nuke and everything will just go poof. And disappear. Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again, though. Because really, all you need to get started is a camera phone and Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and good luck. Well, you sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. <laughs> oh no, my manager would kill me! <laughs> Joking. Anyhow, a high risk, high reward opportunity with a low entry barrier? Sounds like something else. Oh yeah, anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. Oh? It's a long story. Been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining, for one. Why? Not enough pranks? Harsh. Nah, I haven't done those things in a long time. Not that I ever want to get back into it. Anyways, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. <laughs> That's right. Yet they get bored easily, too. Today might be good. Today's good might be trash tomorrow. So it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. You make it sound like the continuity of our work depends on the audience whims, kid. I guess you could say that. Why? <laughs> Georgie, why are you so scared? Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I was unable to avoid overhearing you. It's alright, I know I'm loud. <laughs> Can you explain what you mean by why? Do you think the audience is always right? Of course not. Yeah, that's the truth. Of course, it's the, the audience isn't always right, but it depends on what they watch. That's, what, that's how you know what they want. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? Money! <laughs> why must you... Follow their whims. Money! <laughs> I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even ten or a hundred, still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands? Millions? Not so easy. So my belief is, if you can't fight them, join them. Then change things slowly from the inside out. There's no way it can work. No? Why do you think that? My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to, I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it is only fair. I admit that I am not a big fan of online activities. I find people's conduct there very loathsome. That's a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online in preparation for my audition as a soprano. A soprano? Really? That's cool. Can I see it? I'm guessing the answer is no. I took it down. Oh, why? I believe she's getting to it, kid. Right, okay. It was something done out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home. Since I have no previous theater experience to show, it was not the highest quality, I must admit. Even so, I did post the video to a site mainly to add the link to my applications. Though I am not sure if it helped at all, 
as my attempts have yet to yield, yield results. Right. However, one day my application received an unexpected response from an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What did they say? They highly recommended that I moderate my video's comment section. So, I checked. Oh. It was... a lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of strong opinions. If they can even be called that. What? They were... A lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. What's with that nonsense? Others questioned my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. Are you a siren? Many others also wanted to know who and where my handler was. Since there's no such thing as a sentience for us banshees, I suppose. Oh, you're a banshee. That's real effed up. I agree with Lucas. That's horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POS still exist, huh? The Vindication Act? A global treaty to recognize the sentiency and rights of non-sapiens. Sapiens refer to any species that is intelligent and bipedal. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings. You know the type. Huh. Yeah, like, even us satyrs got added pretty late in the game, too, you know? Oh, but shouldn't you fit the bill right away? <laughs> yeah, but we're all born male. And we didn't really have the best reputation, either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still, doesn't make it right. But I get it now, you're disdained for the internet. I'm impressed you seem very chill about it. Chill? Do I look... chill? Oh no. Uh-oh, the light! But how can you be chill? When such blatant disrespect is thrown in your face like that! Whoa! Whoa! Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? Who do they think they are? Pray tell, what do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Do they derive some sort of perverse pleasure from other suffering? The audacity! I can't! I can't! I see the anomaly of the internet, of talking through screens has afforded people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face for it. Oh god, oh my god, damn it, not again. Just a second, please. Okay. <sighs> George, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, thank goodness. Huh? George. <laughs> It's just not right. That kind of behavior is just not right. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. It's all right. I admit, I just don't want to hear that the audience is always right. Because that means my dream has run aground before I can even try. How about I help you? Look, I get what you're going through. As a satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down to justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this. You've got what it takes to turn the tables on them. Aw, how? Easy. You gotta sell yourself. Whoa, kids, slow down, Georgie, not like that. I might be lax, but I still work for the law. It's not P, and it's not selling ourselves. No, Pops, not that kind. Honestly, I don't know much about the opera scene, but I know sirens dominate a huge chunk of soprano roles, am I right? Yes. It's as if they were made for the role. Exactly. 
So this is a case of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which means, no matter what you do or how hard you- ha ha Which means, no matter what you do or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlier. Therefore, if you just compete based on your skills alone, sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. Wait, hear me out! <laughs> You've got one awesome thing all those sirens don't have. A story. A story? Yeah! Imagine, a banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano, or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage, pursuing her dream in the midst of all the sirens, despite all the odds stacked against her, ah, classic underdog tale! Isn't that the great narrative? But you haven't heard my singing yet. Have you? I'd love to, of course. But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Get the sympathy card. Most people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions, which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all their expectations away. By putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Don't worry, I have my ways. No matter how you sing, everybody will be surprised seeing you there. And that's when you'll get your time to really shine. What are you talking about? No! What? Why? I just want the chance to properly sing. To show what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know, and I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense, but all this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're just trying to sell a caricature of me. Of course not! No way! But ouch, that kind of hurt me a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude, but I don't know you, and you don't know me. Oh, she has a point. So how am I supposed to consider everything you said when you don't even know my name? Well, if what you've been doing has worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? Hey, I don't know where you're going with that, but I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Uh-oh. Ah, crap. Hey, look, I'm... The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Right, thank you for coming, Miss... Riona. Miss Riona. Ooh, you've got a, you've got a Tomodachi old too? Sorry, Lucas. Lucas, go away. I want to look at someone else. Riona, ooh, you're so pretty. We hope to see you again. Ooh. Our conversation certainly took an odd turn. So let me make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel, f I feel that few were actually intended for me. Take care. Have a safe trip. She's gone. <laughs> you fucked up. Uh, sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Oh, is that a congratulations Freya poster in the background? That's so sweet. Sorry, there's something serious going on. Don't, can't say, kid. This old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. Don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped up sometime and I lose my cool. Sorry, just a sec. It's my manager. The road closure is over, so he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful! Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off wherever, no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cabs will start rolling around soon. You sure? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming! We hope to see you again! Yeah. Oh. Hey, Yabby? Yes? N no, it's nothing. Okay then, see you soon, Yabby. Pops, have a safe trip. Well, that was interesting. Well, <laughs> that was a show and a half. That's what I just said. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call it a day. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair, Yabby. Oh, please, you know I didn't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. 
Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's always a fine line to tread, for sure. Yep. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. It's the missus. You know what? I think I'd better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she'll get less mad at me. Please try not to get sick. Kidding, but I better go, though. You take care on closing, Abby. Will do. Hope you get a cab soon. Thanks. See ya. Bye! What an eventful first day! Oh, what a day! I better clean up and then... Huh? What's this? Oh? An old metal lighter with an interesting design carved on it. Oh no, Georgie left it behind! Hmm, someone must have forgotten this. It's Georgie's! Better keep it safe over... here. It exudes an interesting feel. Huh. New superpower? Okay, now let's wrap this up. Oh. Our first day is over. Dream in blue, this mesmerizing and earthy lat latte imbues you with calmness and um, serenity on sight. All right, talk about an eventful first day. I know I've said that like three times already, but seriously, not only did we meet two new characters, but it was quite crazy. We already got some screaming in here. That's so much fun though. And I love the new system. I love the new display for the drinks. And I like this new thing we've got going with the stories and giving people items. I wonder what other items we're gonna get and who we're gonna need to give them to. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm already having so much fun. But considering the length of this one and the fact that I don't know how long the others are and I'm kind of running short on time, I'm literally recording this. It's literally 11 a.m. right now, so I have an hour to edit this and get it on to you guys. Um, I'm literally recording this the day it came out. I came straight home from work to do this. Um, and I should also probably wrap this up so I can actually edit it. But, um, as I was saying, I will think we're going to stick to one episode at a time for now, especially because this is a new release. I want to take my time with it. I want to enjoy it to its fullest extent, just like I did when I first played Coffee Talk, because I'm already having a good time, and I hope you guys are too. So, until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourself, support Banshees and their Soprano endeavors, and have a good day.